Welcome to this short technical overview video of Wallboard FX. In this video, we will provide a brief explanation of the Wallboard FX user and admin interface. This is the default display with five CSQs and two available agents with different states. By clicking the top left icon, we will get a list of our available displays and we can select any of them to show a particular display. I've just selected display 2. Here we can see the agent view on top and the CSQ view at the bottom. Now I'm going to select display 3. As we can see, each configured display has different layouts and themes. We can see notification messages at the bottom. Therefore, we can send a notification message to any display in real time. In this display, you can also see the real-time data changes in configured CSQs and available agent states. By using the toggle icon, we can set our displays to full screen where we can see live data with real-time updates which are the fastest in the industry. If we go back to the normal screen, we need to use the same toggle icon. We can switch to the admin section by clicking the top right icon. To enter the admin interface section, we need to input the admin password, which is the same as we entered during the Wallboard FX configuration. Now we have successfully entered the admin section. If we click the dashboard option, it will show details of the client browser sessions. The U keyword indicates it's your logged in admin session details. We can also see which client is connected on which display, and admin users can associate any display to any clients on a real time basis from here. Let me show you. The right side client is connected to display UFX. Now I'm going to change the display for this client. I've just changed UFX to display 2 and it has changed on the client session. You can also change the host name to any friendly name to distinguish between other client sessions. Here we are changing the host name to development display on Firefox. Press the tick box to save the change. Via this red button, we have an option to remove any disconnected clients from the list. We also have the option to remove individual end user clients if required. Let's go to the display management. This shows a list of configured displays along with edit and delete options. We can create a new display by clicking the new button. We will cover display management in more detail in our next video. Next option is Edit Configuration, where we can update existing configuration details like UCCX server IP address and the admin user can reset the wallboard admin password after modification. Please click the Save button so changes can take effect. There is another option, Save and Sync. We can use this option to reset your wallboard configuration. This will delete all your existing data, such as displays, CSQs, etc., and resync everything from the UCCX server. The next option is Upgrades. From here, you can upgrade your existing version to the latest release. Here we can see details of the installed version and latest version available. By clicking the Refresh button, we can check for the very latest Wallboard FX version. It is now checking for the latest version. Because we already have the latest version, it states Current. Otherwise, it will inform you there is a new release available to update to. Here, we also have the option to automatically download and upgrade. We can enable it from this checkbox and provide an upgrade time by clicking this option. You can provide hours, minutes, and AM or PM. Wallboard FX will then check for updates and upgrade automatically at the same time each day. Click the Save button for it to take effect. The last option is Licensing. Here we can see our licensing details. This shows how many agents, CSQs, displays, and clients our current license is authorized for.
Thank you for watching this short wallboard FX technical overview. We hope you have found it useful.